Hey everyone, here we are today at a new restaurant in Haiku called Louis. Louis! Yeah, and Jeremy's very excited. Tell us why. Finally, a French restaurant. We're going to check the restaurant, maybe talk with the owner, and get some food for free. There are a few nice foreign restaurants here in Haiko. Uh, I like going to Yuan, it's a Thai food restaurant. There is like the Spanish restaurant, we went there one time. Oh yeah, Sobrasol. Yeah, the Turkish restaurant. I haven't been there. Uh, I went there one time, it's pretty cool. And there's the Indian restaurant, Little India. Okay, anyway, and now we have a French restaurant with a real French chef. I have no idea what she's saying, but it sounds like she's talking about the food. She explained that you need to, to have the fruits and everything is prepared and that their own oyster, like, the, like six or seven years old. Cool. Okay, if you want fun facts, when you go here, you actually have proper knife and it's a laguiole, which is a famous French brand knife. I know no one cares, but I'm very happy to see that. Well, that was our first time trying royal oysters, and it was really, really good. This one is a pumpkin roasted soup. It's been roasting on wood fire, so it has a lot of smokiness to it. Olive oil. Bon appétit. I hope you love it, Alexander. Let me just say, Chef Louis is a very sweet guy and he takes great care of us. You're sweet too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so welcome and cared for here. What are we having now, Jeremy? <laughs> oh, Take two! Awesome. Would you say it's the best pumpkin soup you've ever had? Yeah, but I don't know if it counts a lot because I didn't have a lot of pumpkin soup. But like it's a bit spicy, like a, um, like a black pepper spicy. It's yeah. Really cool. This morning we bite some fresh, fresh, fresh uh, mangosteen, and then I'm going to pipe a little bit. This one is a raspberry coulis. Little bit of nuts. Voilà. So this one is a foie gras with strawberry mangosteen. Bon appétit, Alexander. That yeah, looks amazing. Thank you. So what dish is that? Foie gras. But it's more in a French way. Usually we uh, eat it with uh, sweet sauce. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorites is onion or strawberry or this kind of like red fruit stuff. On meat? Uh, yeah. Okay, chef, what do you got here? So we've got a uh, ribeye with a red wine sauce. That's the uh, steak that everybody's talking in town. It's one of the best because it's well seared, it's well caramelized, and then you have a secret sauce that we put on top that give it this really unique, fresh flavors. And now it's time for some wine and lobster. Let's try it. That's really good. Man, everything here is so good. So we've had a, a few dishes now and I'm busy with a lovely fruit and prawn dish that uh, Chef Louis prepared for us and coming here it's like I'm falling in love with food again. It's really great. Okay, first thanks for today and for the food. Pleasure. And uh, okay, I'm very happy to have a French guy around too. And I want to ask you why, why, to come, why come to Hainan? Uh, Hainan, after I visited Sanya for three years in Atlantis Hotel, it had to be Haiko because Haiko has uh, this potential for great food scene and yet uh, there has not been anything done yet. So we feel a little bit like a pioneer coming here, uh, trying to elevate like the food culture here and Haiko so far in my heart, I've been here for nine months. It's been like a strike of lightning. I really love how Ico is well balanced between business life, 
and you can drive your car like five minutes away and have this beach life, yeah. uh, which is really for me a perfect balance, uh, the way of, uh, yeah, of enjoying life. You know what I mean? Cause you bleed to die. Hi, Chef Louis. Hi, Alexander. Thank you so much for the wonderful food today. It's, it's my pleasure. I heard you had like some fuss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first time I had uh, raw oysters, and uh, wow, really, really good. Yeah, thank I've, you. It that's was, it amazing. It was like uh, oysters with passion fruit, little bit of mangoes and caviar. So it's a vision uh, what great ingredients of Hainan can be elevated. I think passion fruit here is simply amazing. I feel when you eat it, it's something where you can literally taste sunshine in it. In it, so that's uh, how I hope we can like elevate Hainan food culture scene because it's so interesting. So, Chef Louis, uh, there's this girl that I really like, and I want to bring her here on a date. Can you cook her something that will make her fall in love with me? Ooh, you know, I really want to help you, and I'm thinking about two dishes mm. right now. Okay. The foie gras. All right. Which is creamy. Hot, intense, just wow. like your relationship, maybe. The beef, yeah. you need to share her. Okay. Share the, the beef with her. All right. Share her. I will do that. If you have not come here for yeah. the foie gras, you're missing something like really, really important in your life. Make a change right now and see you very soon. Hi, Chef Louis. Hi, Alexander. Happy to have you here. Yeah, thank you so much for all the amazing food today. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe me? <laughs> Heard you had like some first experience? Yeah, definitely. Like uh, the fuck, what did I have for the first oyster. time? <laughs> Fresh oyster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's the first time I had uh, raw oysters. Can be a for dessert sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you can feel it tonight. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it already. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. I have so many things I want to say, man. Okay. <laughs> One hour later. <laughs> Why are we laughing? It was so funny. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just burn her away. Oh, okay. okay, okay, let's finish that. <coughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> I know I always manage to screw up the interviews. <laughs>